Okay, hold okay. hello YouTubers, this is Winnie here and today I'm going to show you some special video and I'll show you how to make Epic and Drops completely free. Let's get started guys. So here I have some apps, let me introduce. First I have the fast soft video converter, just in case you have any MP4 or 3GP files that you can convert into EVI files for Windows Movie Maker. Second I have the Movie Maker of course, where you can we'll make that zoom effect etc. and club them all. And one of the most important softwares is a VSDC video editor. You can get any other video editor which can just club and add text. I choose this one because it's completely free. So now that we know what all is for, let's get started with our samples. Um, you can take any basic free blank samples like this one. Doesn't sound good to me. Let me try another one. Mm, that's bad. So let's add text to it. Um, be careful. Do what I say. Don't miss a step. It will be so easy for you. Okay, so here we'll name our project say uh, you can choose any pixels. I'm taking 720p just in case you can take any. Let's name this intro and let's get started. Okay, so here's our workspace, and what you're gonna do is just drag the sample that you want just into the VSDC with the editor. Mm. Just for the black background there, boom, and just drag it to the parent size. You may want to preview it, so that's good. Let's check it out. Hmm. So no quality compromise looks good. So let's get in real text that. Now choose the point where the video should be added to text. For example, mine is somewhere here. Where I should add the text. So now I'll add some text here. You're gonna click this left side T button there. Um, yep, there. And keep OK. So make a text column like that. So easy. Now just gonna edit the text. And it's right there. Put your name, your channel name, anything you want. It doesn't matter, of course. I mean, it doesn't matter, sorry. <laughs> and increase the size and this. I'll, I'll do it fast. Um, okay. Choose the color which max your intro. My sub screen. So let's play it. Okay, perfect. Now, let's add those effects. Now, make sure that your intro has some beats. Like, the two I played here that have some beats. Mm -hmm. So first, my favorite video effect is Fade X. You can choose any effects you want from those five. Make sure it just suits. Now what you're gonna do is copy the number of effects to the number of beats in a video. Just gonna go to Edit, copy it, and then paste. Um, my one has six, but just for the sake, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's preview it. Let's see how the fade works. And we'll pop it in. Boom. Okay. So this is the fade effect. But as you can see, it's so slow. So we're going to just change the duration. I'll show you how to do that. It's right there. As you can see. Making it, um, say, 100 milliseconds. Uh, I'll do that to all fast and just do it fast enough and here we go I got the four of them and I'll just preview and uh, see how it works boom 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 okay perfect so that's it for the video editor job you can add more you can add less just make sure it beats it. Then you just choose your format you want. 
I choose AVI for Windows Movie Maker and then just hit that convert button there. Super easy. Okay, I've done my converting. Now let me show you what the result. Boom, that's it. Um, look at that. So that's how it looks when you just turn them in piece. Now let's open Movie Maker. This is an important part guys, so just pay attention. This is hell important. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's the movie maker. We're just gonna drag our clip into it. And boom, here we go. Now, this is very important. Just drag your cursor to the point where the first fade effect starts. So that we can add the zoom effect. Okay, so mine starts right here as you can see. I'll just split it. And then split where it, it's completed there and then just split it in half because you want to add the zoom in effect and zoom out effect so those are the two slides these two here these are all very important now I'll add zoom in and out effect you can add any effects you want super easy just make sure they're opposite and for example for this one it's this one so I've done all my editing and I'm back guys so let's play it now isn't that awesome once you're done just and render it I've made some special effects here as you can see for the zoom one first I took this effect which takes zoom to left then left to right and then zoom on right side so in total that looks like this ain't that awesome now just go ahead and render it just check all of it and then just press file, save project. I'll show you later. And here's the final intro. That sounds awesome, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so now just we got exported. That's the main part. Let's go ahead and export it. Save movie. It's complete. Or any, any if you want. And, um, render it there in my intros save it boom it's done just go ahead and close it check it out there's a final intro and look at it Have fun. Peace out. Here I have one more tip for you. If you make your intro more spicy, just drag it with in the movie maker and add that colorful effect. I'll show you where it is. Go to visual effects, scroll down, boom, add that. I'll <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> Ain't that awesome guys? I love it. You can also try it. And I'm gonna keep it green just for the purposes so I can tell. And yeah, so only for you guys, I will upload fully different. Choose anyone that you want. Total of 52 blank intros up ahead. Like this video if you want it. Here I was uh, did my friend Tech Lower. Check out this intro. It works the same guys. Yes. Thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.